many people are confused. What's the difference between um, creams, gels, pills, pellets when it comes to bioidentical hormone therapy? I am licensed to do pellet therapy. I'm trained to do pellet therapy. I choose not to do it because on paper, pellets work six months and it's a surgical procedure. Uh, uh, a cannula goes in, a metal thing goes in, pellets get inserted into our hip and um, they're supposed to last six months. They generally last an average of four. And if you start getting side effects from too much or too little hormone, it's very difficult to adjust to go back in there, pull the pellets out. Whereas creams or gels, or, or even there are some bioidentical hormone pills, we can adjust that on a daily basis. And when you talk about a woman, for example, who needs to balance estrogens, progesterone, and testosterone, throw all those together in a pellet and she starts giving side effects, you don't know which one is causing what side effect. So it's much easier to give each one individually. And then if we like at the end, if women like cream or gels, put all three in drops or cream where a woman can receive them daily. Same with the men. If they start having acne or hair loss or um, aggressive behavior from testosterone, we can't adjust it. We have to wait at least four months. One final thing with pellets, it's good to monitor blood work monthly because you don't know how long they're going to work. Each one of us metabolizes them differently. You don't have to do that uh, with the other methods. Thank you.